Hey, it's Mr. Finger here. I'm going to show you today how to uh, simplify the steps from my previous video um, where I made this uh, headphone stand support bracket. Um, it took several steps to get this, so I believe we finished the headphone stand up here. We drew the support here, but then if you notice, <clears throat> we had s uh, several sketches and extrudes to actually cut the holes in the um, base and the headphone stand. So um, this is what it looked like when we were done after all those steps. So there's a faster way and it's to use Boolean, um, the Boolean tool which actually takes this um, this bracket support that we built and uses it itself to cut these holes. So let's look at that um, on another sketch. So I've copied this, uh, sorry another part studio. I've copied this up into the point where we have the stand in place, uh, so the support in place. Notice if you look at these holes, they're not cut. Um, you can tell they're not cut because they have this weird looking pattern on them. And if I also re, uh, didn't show the support, you'd see that there's there are no holes. So we're gonna show the support um, and we're gonna use the Boolean tool to create that uh, create those, those, those holes. So click up here on the Boolean. If you don't see it, just search tools for Boolean, B-O-O-L. <clears throat> and this uh, Boolean operation, that's a mathematical operation where you can essentially um, use, it's kind of a binary math thing, but the, it'll use one piece to cut a hole in the other. Um, we are gonna use the subtract uh, option here. So we wanna subtract some piece from another part. Um, the tool we're going to use, there are tools and targets in this, in this um, Boolean tool. The tool is actually what we use to cut the holes, and that is the new support. So the, the support is our tool. The targets are what we're going to cut out of. So we're going to pick the base and the stand are our targets. <clears throat> and you can already see that it's cut, it's cut our holes. Um, so one thing we will want to do uh, is keep the tools because this will get rid of our bracket. Um, we don't want to get rid of our bracket. Uh, we want to keep that. So click the tools um, and then we will click the check mark. And now if you notice the holes look much cleaner and if we hide the support we see that the holes are there. So that saves gosh about 15 steps um, from having to create sketches um, using projecting and then extruding um, from your projects. Now you have your ready to cut uh, pieces.